In this video, I'm going to go through the hazard perception test in a bit more detail. In fact, I'm going to take some practice tests and show exactly how it works. So I've gone to safedrivingforlife.info slash practice hazard perception test. And there's two clips you can use here to practice on. So let's try. So we start a practice test. There's a bit of information here. So there's three clips, each with one developing hazard. So a developing hazard is something that will cause you to take some form of action, such as change in speed or direction. So let's start. So the first question people often ask me is, do I need to click where the hazard is? So you need to like click on this truck here. And no, you don't. You click anywhere you want. On the actual real test, there is no cursor, it's no little finger, little point and arrow. So you click wherever you want. As long as you have a little red flag here, it has registered your click. The next question I'll get asked is how many times can you click before you're disqualified? So let's experiment. So I'm using this trial kit clip from the official DVSA website. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it appears there, I did 11 clicks, and then I've got a message I clicked too many times. Now I did do 11 clicks in a row. On the real test, I think you might find if you do more than four clicks in a row, you might get disqualified. On this practice clip though, it appears you do quite a lot in a row. But I would advise you to do a maximum of four clicks in a row and no more than 10 clicks throughout the whole video. So if you do that, you should not get disqualified as far as I've found out. If I now try to do the clicks a bit more spaced out and see if it makes any difference. So last time, if I did 11 clicks, so over 10 clicks, I got disqualified. So let's try here. One, two, three, four, five. And I wait a bit, that's five clicks so far. One, two. So that's another two clicks, we're up to seven at the moment. Eight clicks. Nine, 10, 11. So again, I got disqualified when I did 11 clicks. So it does appear if you do more than 10 clicks, you will get disqualified. Please do remember these are practice clips. I can't obviously practice on real clips and I'm not part of the DVSA. So I cannot be 100% sure what I say here is accurate. But I'm quite confident if you did more than 10 clicks, you're likely to get disqualified. And if you click more than four times in a row, you're likely to get disqualified. Do I need to click for potential hazards? A question I often get asked. To answer this question, I'm playing back the clip. Now on this clip, it shows me at the bottom when I score my points. So you can see it's got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the flag is when I clicked. The white bar at the bottom represents whereabouts I am on the clip, so I'm quite in the beginning at the moment. And you can see if I click to the moment, I would get no points, as this truck does not pull out in front of me, so he does not become a developing hazard. But it's really important we click for these potential hazards as they could develop and that's when they're going to score our points. So I've paused the video here because if we click to this moment in time you get 5 points. If we look far ahead we can see there's a white van in the parking bay and he's starting to move. So is he going to pull out in front of us? As you might guess he is. If we waited for him to pull out in front of us, like we waited to click now, we would get one or zero points, so it's too late. Remember, in one of the clips, there are two developing hazards. So once that first developing hazard has happened and caused you to slow down, keep focused, keep concentrating, have that finger ready to click. Could there be another developing hazard about to happen? If you miss that second hazard, you can't rewind the clip and try again. You need to get it that first time. Be careful not to overclick. Only clicking for the hazards which are quite a high risk to you. So for example, these parked cars here aren't really a problem 
as there's no lights on, there's no people near them, so there's quite a low risk of them pulling out. The technique I tend to use, though, to score highly, is the free click, click technique. So we click once, we anticipate the hazard. So, for example, I'm anticipating someone might pull out from this junction on the left as the vision is restricted, so click once. We click again when it develops, so click now. And then once more, a second later. And by doing that, you should score very highly. So to confirm, that you click once when you anticipate the potential hazard. You click again when it develops, when you see movement. So like for example there, you see the van in the window coming towards the junction. And you click once more, a second later, just in case that second click, when the hazard started to develop, in case that click was a tiny bit too early. No, we don't need to click for fixed hazards, such as the water on the road here, or the bend that we can't see around. We're only scored on hazards that are moving, which are typically going to be other vehicles, pedestrians, and potentially animals. So if there's a deer that's going to cross the road here, then yes, we must click for that, but not just for the bend. We do not need to click, so I'm doing no clicks at the moment. The hazard on this clip is going to be a tractor, so this sort of thing we're looking to click for. Any moving vehicles or other road users that are going to affect us, we click once and we see the tractor as he's a potential hazard and could potentially be a problem to us. As he starts to develop, we click again, so we click now and then once more now. So we clicked the moment that tractor started to come towards the road and there's a chance it's going to pull out in front of us and did that second click just a few seconds later. Do I get five points by clicking five times on the clip? Question I got asked before as the person wasn't quite sure how the scoring system worked. On this clip I only click once but I get five points. You see my click down here with red flag is. So I clicked now. The moment I saw that van in the window, and I got a maximum of five points with just one click. So this proves you do not get five points by clicking five times. You get five points for clicking the moment you see that hazard develops. You see something moving towards you that might cause you to break. Is it possible to score five points with one click? Yes. Would advise you to do this? Most definitely not. If that click is one second too early, you'll score zero points. If it's a few seconds too late, you're going to score just one or two points. So by applying the free click technique, you're likely to score much higher. I can't see the hazards. The clip's too blurry. A problem many people have and comment about. Now in the old days, this was a major problem. As a few years back, the clips on the real test used to be real footage from dash cameras. And the footage sometimes was years old when the quality of the cameras was very poor. This is not the case anymore. As now on the real test, all the clips are CGI. So they're nice and crisp and clear and easy to spot the hazards. You may, however, though, practice using non-CGI clips, as there's not many CGI clips available to the public. With this in mind, I would say don't use your phone or an iPad to practice the hazard perception clips. It's quite a small screen on your phone or on the iPad, so you might not see the hazards properly. Use a desktop, so a computer or a laptop, and make sure it's on the best resolution possible.